Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I'll show you a little experiment that I was doing today. It has to do with uh, Hyper-B machine and Astro and how I was able to create Astro workplaces within the Hyper-B machine. And then the Hyper-B machine is up and running. So I've installed Windows 11 23 S2 inside the Hyper-B machine and allocated 16 GB of RAM with 8 cores. So let me remote into it. But you should not use a remote connect from here you should install anydex after you are have finished connecting and downloading anything or app, installing applications in the hyperbay machine so i've already installed anydex and set a on editing password which i'm using to connect into it now two things you have to do one is install the virtual display driver and you can download that from link in the description below or you can refer to one of our videos which put the link in the description as well now once you have downloaded the driver extract it to c drive and i've extracted it to the virtual monitor run the install hyphen start pad and then afterwards open device manager action legacy hardware next install hardware next display adapters next and choose haptics and then choose the folder in which the driver is located. So I will add this and it will show you virtual display and the driver is authentic or signature. Since I've already installed the driver, I'm not going to install it again, but you will have to do the process. Now, after installing the driver, open a command prompt and run it as administrator and cd into c drive slash virtual monitor folder. And that's this folder, and we have to run this. Yeah, the virtual, and then type add, and the resolution at the. Once again, uh, show CLI add, and then resolution of the screen, and then press enter. Okay, uh, so. That's just black screen that's displayed. Now the ID is 11. And if you have more than you need, then you can remove it by typing. Uh, let me show you that the mod has indeed been added. Earlier it was 12, now it's 13. So let me remove it. So remove and ID number. So that screen is removed. And if I want to remove others, then you just type in the ID and it will remove it. And if you want to add it again, then as earlier. So this is how you add. And if you want to persist the monitors after reboot, then you have to type here as the message persist. And for this persist to work, you have to install the VDD user session service. So you can do that by VDD and then dash as install. I've already installed it, so it's going to give me already exist. So after you install it, you can persist the number of monitors that you have added and it will start at the start. Now, after the virtual monitors have been added, so open Aster. If you haven't installed Aster yet, then install it and then go to Workplaces tab and from system settings or at first, all of the monitors will be in WordPress one and then drag and drop the monitors in order like I have done here and likely and assign a user account for each of the workplaces. I've done so for all of them. Now, after you have assigned the monitors and this can be accessed remotely using Anadex or Parsec or tight VNC. In this video, I'll not go into how to remote into each of the workplaces as it will make the video long. You can refer to one of the videos in which I saw all the steps to remote into each of the workplaces. I'll put the link to that video in the description of this video and then enable Astro. Now it's going to reboot the Hyper-V machine. Let me show you Hyper-V machine is indeed rebooting. You can see here, small screen here. And once it shows the logo, then I'll connect using the any desk application so it's at the login screen so astro has been enabled and it's 
start in the workplaces. Let me show you. So second workplace has started. You open Astro also. As you can see here. And one by one, all of the workplaces will start. Let's see the load on the system. So let's monitor for a bit. And you can see a little bit of spike when the workplace start at the beginning, but after the workplace has started, there will not be much CPU utilization similar with memory. With each workplace, and it will be using 100 to 500 MB, depending on the number of applications or processes that is running the user account. So that's about it for this video. And if you have any question, don't forget to mention it in the comment. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Have a good day.